Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS Online video tutorial series. My name is Sean, and today we are going to look at the coolest feature ever. Um, let me head right over to a Photoshop design and we'll get started. Um, so PSD to CSS Online takes Photoshop designs of your web pages or websites and automatically generates all of the code to be a working website for you. Um, as you may know, the trick is always about uh, how you name the layers in Photoshop. You name them with an underscore, some command, layer naming convention, and it'll PSC to CSS Online will generate special code for you. So uh, a, a number of the features uh, generate text areas for you. Um, right here, this gray box, right, uh, we, we're calling this one content underscore text. That means it's going to put text in there for you, and uh, we've got some color defined there for the text. But uh, but a lot of people uh, have been struggling to get their uh, uh, their their design to expand with their content. So if you put a little bit of text in here, you want this to be very short. If there's ten paragraphs of text in here, you want this bottom part with the push me button and the the bottom part of the blue. You want it to stretch all the way down the page. Um, the same thing over here. You might have a menu in this in this gray area. We've called it left text. And uh, if the menu gets long, you want this blue box to stretch with it. So now you can. We have uh, we used to have some. Uh, uh, some kind of difficult to follow video tutorials about um, naming, kind of slicing up your layers yourself and having to put them in a certain order and making sure certain things were in, inside of other things. And, and after the conversion, then you had to go in and edit the CSS file by hand. It was a mess. Um, this is much easier. All you have to do is define the content or the text or just as you always have. And then on the frame, just name that layer with the underscore frame layer naming con convention. Here you see first underscore frame and that's nothing more than than that whole that whole outside part. So I'll show you what happens when uh, when we do this. We'll save this file. We'll go to PSD to CSS online and we'll upload that file. And this is going to generate for us just an, an index.html file and uh, this, the appropriate CSS and the JavaScript and all the images to, uh, to make this a working web page but but those frames will expand with the content and you'll be able to see it right away even in the preview. Um, so there we go. So now we'll go and look at the preview and you sure enough here's the, the text content that uh, we added for you. You're supposed to go in and change that in with, uh, uh, with a text editor or some HTML editor. But you can see this box, this frame is shorter. It, uh, it uh, matches the length of the content exactly. Um, this box over here with this content in it. It's actually a little longer. See how they're not the same length here? But if you go back to Photoshop, you can see they were designed at the same length, but they're both frame layers. So they grow with whatever the content is. So this is a, a quick example. Oh, also you can you can add any kind of PSD to CSS online extra feature inside the frame and it will uh, it'll follow the bottom of the uh, frame down. So uh, if this text gets longer, not only will this box get longer, but this button will get pushed down as well. So uh, let's, uh, let's see it work in a more complicated situation. Let's make a, a WordPress theme out of this design. So we just made an HTML file and saw it. It was just a few seconds. But in this case, now we're going to make WordPress. Oh, I think this has to be sidebar. Sidebar. And we'll make this content, content WordPress. PSD to CSS Online will make uh, themes that work for WordPress or Joomla or Drupal. And they all work exactly the same way. You just name these layers with the appropriate name in there, and then we'll write all the right code for you. So we'll save this. We'll come back over here to, uh, to PSD to CSS Online. Upload our new frame. I mean, our new, uh, our new PSD file that we just edited. Um, I happen to have WordPress running on this machine. This is uh, here at localhost. Um, and uh, you can see it's got the standard boring... Uh, template that comes with it, theme, and we can go and, and see that uh, in appearance we only have the two themes that, that come with WordPress available. So uh, once this is finished over here, what we'll do, there we go, we'll download the zip file. That contains everything that is a WordPress theme. We don't have to go in and edit it. We don't have to mess with it at all. We'll just save it to the hard drive. Uh, I have a, a script here that will just uh, extract it just unzip the zip file into uh, into my WordPress folder 
And when we go back to WordPress here and update this page, now you can see our PSD to CSS theme. We'll activate it. And now, when we visit this website, sure enough, the theme we had generated before and we made an HTML page out of it, now it behaves exactly as a completely working WordPress theme. My WordPress website now has that theme. You can see this menu got much longer and the blue box got longer. You can see that uh, the content is much, much longer and sure enough, my, uh, my frame stretched with it all the way to the bottom. My, uh, my mouse over push me button still works. Anything that you would, we would have put down here would still work. And uh, and that's it. That's that's the that's the trick. It's the underscore frame feature. You can put as many of them on the page as you'd like. As you can see, we did two here. We've got uh, got a frame for the content and a frame for the menu. Um, it's just uh, putting underscore frame in the name. Again, this is first frame. It's the frame that went around our content. Over here, this blue box here is called uh, second underscore frame, and it's that underscore frame that causes it to happen. So you got a couple minutes. Let's uh, let's make a Drupal theme. I love how I can make uh, different themes for different uh, content management systems, completely different systems, completely different code bases. And uh, all I got to do, all you have to do, is change this to the other, the name of the other uh, content management system. Save it out. Head over to PSD to CSS Online. Generate the code. Now let's go visit our, our Drupal. This is our local Drupal installation. So you can see it's uh, it's an Acquia Drupal installation. It's got the boring standard. Uh, I forget what's the name of this theme. This is uh, Garland. It's got Garland running, but you can see there's no PSD to CSS Online theme here. Oh, that's already done. That was quick. We download the zip file. Download it to the hard drive. I have a very similar uh, very similar script here that just uh, unzips from my desktop the zip file, psd to css.zip, and, and it automatically goes into the right place. You just put it right in, this, in the root of your Drupal install. This is all Drupal stuff. We'll get out of here. Let's see. Uh, so now when I refresh this page, you can see that there's now a psd to css online theme available. You turn it on. Save configuration. And, and as you can see, here we go, a PSD to CSS Online Drupal theme now. It uh, looks exactly like the WordPress theme did. Uh, I didn't have to write any code. I didn't have to change any CSS. Uh, it just works. So you log out and look a little better. There you go. But uh, you can see it's the frame is short when it needs to be short. It's long when it needs to be long. The extra PSD to CSS Online features work in the bottom of the frame. And uh, that's it. That's the PSD to CSS Online underscore frame feature. Thanks.